Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Today I'm going to do a quick review on the Wildo or Wildo Camper Box Complete. So that's these little fellas here. Basically, it's a uh, a plastic version of a set of mess tins. So for most of you guys know that I'm a bit of a, a bit of a fanboy of mess tins. And I've got some outdoor cooking to do. <coughs> these are quite often come into play. So obviously, being plastic. You won't be uh, cooking in these, but it's a uh, really quite well thought out little bowl, plate, cutting board. A good system to sort of add to if you're like me, you're carrying a canteen kit most of the time, which is fine for heating water, heat beans, eating out of the pot. If you want to add another uh, layer to your kit. Also, I think this kit would be fabulous if you're uh, travelling, backpacking, and staying in hostels, and you want to buy a bit of food and eat it with a bit of peace and quiet, not in the mess hall. It uh, really does add quite a bit of function. A few years ago, when I walked the coast to coast in the UK, <coughs> often we bought food on the way and we had a bit of a picnic lunch most days and in some of the hotels that we did stay in they only had uh, really cups so something like this would have been quite useful to uh, you know cut cheese salami eat cereal and all those type of things so um, all up it starts off now according to my scales this is the complete kit consisting of uh, two cups a small and a large cutting board I call this the plate spork spice pot I call this one with the lip on it the bowl now they say 265 on the box my scales come out at 275 so my scale is generally pretty accurate so um, I call this the uh, the plate yeah. now it holds 500 mils and as I always measure my stuff is um, if I can't lift it with that amount of liquid in it, it doesn't hold it. So it will hold 500 mils and you can move it around. There's a line of dots on the inside and that provides the locking mechanism to lock the top to the bottom. Now it isn't waterproof, but it would, would make a pretty good container for lots of things. Now it comes in a variety of colors. So it would be good if you had kids and you wanted to teach them a bit of independence everyone could have their own colour. Cutting boards quite solid. It's got the drainer in it, which could be handy for uh, straining your two minute noodles out of any container. It has this little bump on it which prevents it being a vacuum in place. Now of course it'll only fit on top. So that's it there. We'll move on to the bowl. And it's got this useful place for carrying, which is handy for the contents you put in there as hot. Now it will hold uh, 600 mil. Weighs in at 59 grams, this individual part. And it'll make a good bowl for eating hot food, cereals, and all that. And it's quite good. So We'll move on to the spork. Weighs in at six grams. Now, if you were left-handed, this would not be champion. Yeah, it's got a cutting edge on one side, yeah, tines and all that. But as long as you're right-handed, it's usable. Can't say much more than that. The spice pot has three separate. Divides inside two two smaller ones and one large. There's no markings on it, so you have to remember which ones you put put where. But uh, quite handy, obviously salt, pepper, and yeah, curry powder. Never float your boat. Bit of an improvement on my use of the old 35 millimeter film container. Quite a robust little unit. And we'll move on to the the cups. Now I've had versions of these cups since the 1980s. The first ones I bought I'm sure were bright yellow. And I had to dig through my kit and I've got 
the folder cup original, also a folder cup, and flexi cup. So they're all very, very similar. They're all made in Sweden, so I don't know how many Swedish manuf plastic manufacturers are. And this is the uh, the cup, and made by a different company again, Reliance, I think it says. <coughs> and that's designed for the, the Swedish meskets. And I really, although it fits the meskit fabulously, I found it really awkward to uh, eat and drink out of. So the, the two cups supplied with it, the small, and it, it really is a small cup because it's not actually, it doesn't hold a cup by the way. It holds 210 mil. So if you like a decent drink of tea or coffee, it's too small. So, uh, now well, the small one weighs in at 23 grams, and the big boy, which will hold 500 mil, so really double as a um, cup or a bowl, weighs in at 45. Now, had, having the choice, I would just hump the big boy, the big cup. I wouldn't bother with a small one because it's really too small to be of use. Now I've used these larger ones, I've got a couple, and they're well usable. They will hold the, the 500 mil without spilling it everywhere. So uh, quite good. Now the, the kits come in three different configurations. Unfortunately, only the complete comes with the large cup, so it's a bit of a shame. The um, the light, which this one is, basically comes with the uh, ball plate, small cup, and uh, spork. And the basic is basically just the uh, the bowl, the plate, and the small cup. So of course, with shipping and stuff like that, I actually bought two, yeah, due to my location. So the complete set said so they claim 265, I get 275, and the bit of and the uh, and the light one weighs in the corner of them 150, but I got 160 without the packaging. So it seems to be a 10 gram variation on that. But uh, otherwise, if you're looking for individual kits for a found me camp or uh, for travelling. I think this little kit's really quite good. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.